I'm Latoya Lavelle, this is Tia Latoya, and in today's episode we'll be discussing Dave, Disney's new film Onward, and two Netflix recommendations. But first, here's your quick tea. Eminem may have broken world records already with his track Godzilla, but he's now gone and broken the internet. He set the Godzilla challenge where he challenged everyone to do the verse that set the world record. You should check out the one by LL Cool J of legendary rapper Biz Markie. I for one think I might even try it. Will Smith was on the set of King Richard this week, which is a biopic that is based around Serena Williams and Venus Williams' father, Richard. It tells the adversities that he had to overcome and how he made the two tennis players as great as they are. It will be a fascinating watch and I for one will definitely be going to see it when it's released. Steven Spielberg should be celebrating the wrap of his production West Side Story, however it's unfortunately been overshadowed by the fact that he's had to bail out his 24 year old daughter on domestic charges. It's not the first time that the stars experienced heartbreak from his 24 year old adopted daughter when she became an adult porn star with her 50 year old fiance. However, my condolences go out to the family and I hope they make it through this tough time unscathed and more together. And finally, Jodie Comer and Sandra Oh are recalled in season three of Killing Eve. The first two seasons of this show have been massive hits on both sides of the Atlantic. I for one cannot wait to see what murderous mayhem they bring us in season three. But that was the quick tea. Now for the full sip. We got a little dicky in here. Little dicky. Little dicky. Holy sh man. Why you call yourself little dicky? You got a little dicky? It's never even grown at all since I was a uh, child. David Bird, aka Lil Dicky, went viral in 2015 when he released his song Ex-Boyfriend on YouTube, which got over a million views. His single Freaky Friday featuring Chris Brown went viral and proved to be a worldwide hit. He's always had a comedic style with everything he's done and his latest project is proving no different. Do you realize that I'm dating a rapper who I've never heard rap out loud? Will you rap for me right now? Oh my God, rap for me. Look. No. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. YG, Lil Dicky. What up, man? Good to meet you. He's got a show which is going to be shown on Hulu tonight and on FX tomorrow called Dave. Based around his general real life, it tells a story of a wannabe rapper who comes from a strict Jewish background and basically is trying to make it in the music industry. Looking at the last music video, Earth, he had so many names in it. It was an animated series, but it was kind of like a guess who's who in the video. Now, we know that he's going to be coming with something fire again. I'm really excited to see what this project delivers and what famous names he's got in it. I mean, I've already seen some very famous people in the trailers. I'm excited to see what we've got. In times of old, the world was full of wonder and magic. But times change. Morning, Mom! Hey, birthday boy! By the laws of yore, I must dub thee a man today. Kneel before me. That's okay. Moving onward, Disney's latest film brings us the voices of Tom Holland, aka Spider-Man, and Star-Lord Chris Pratt for their latest adventure. Seems like Tom Holland hasn't stopped working when in the last year he's had Spies in Disguise with Will Smith and also Doolittle with Robert Downey Jr. Okay. I have a gift from your dad. He just said to give you this when you were both over 16. And now this, I can't lie, I'm really excited for this film. He's playing the lead character in this though, so this is his time to shine. The film is about two brothers that get given a staff and they get to bring their father back for one day. Unfortunately, halfway through the spell, they get cut out and they only bring back his legs. So they then begin a quest to try and get the rest of his body back. Oh, feet! Oh! Ah, he's just legs. Of course, they get into all sorts of mischief on the way. It's the latest from Pixar Studios, which have been bought out by Disney, and everyone's saying it's going to be a hit, but it's not going to be as big as some of their previous films. I mean, they're the same people that bought us Toy Story, The Incredibles, Monsters Inc., and one of my favourites, Finding Nemo. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. It worked! The can is huge! And the van is huge! And you're... Oh no. Can they still bring us the classics? I don't know. But early indications are saying that it's going to be one of the good films for this year for the kiddies. So make sure you take the kids. I mean, I'm just going to be going by myself regardless because I'm a Disney girl at heart. When you watch the film, let me know what you think. Queen. I suggest you keep a low profile. 
this is not good. And lastly, I'm going to be ending with two Netflix recommendations today. Queen Soho, which is a South African production, which is part of Netflix's attempt to become more diverse with their production. I can only commend them for it. This show starts with some big actors from South Africa. The lead actress Pearl Fusi was last seen in the HBO BBC show, the number one ladies detective agency. And she also has a lead in the FBI show Quantico. <laughs> The story centers around a secret South African agent who basically tackles the mob. And let me just say, I've only watched a couple of episodes, but the fight scenes are amazing. It kind of makes me want to go and do some karate or something. So what have you been up to? I have been selling art. This is a great show that just premiered a few days ago. And obviously because it's Netflix, we've got all 10 episodes out at once. Let me know if you've watched it. And if you haven't, let me know what you think I've when you do. I've met the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. I've never seen her before. The second show that we're going to talk about is Love and Blind. It's a reality dating show. So if you're missing Love Island, I would definitely give it a recommendation. You have people that are basically live in a house and don't get to meet each other, but they all fall in love. Then they propose. And if they make it that far, then they get married. Sounds crazy, I know, right? But the drama is there, the crying, the screaming, everything you want from a show again. And of course, we have the car wreck drama. I mean, I saw someone get jilted at the altar. Before. Here, you will choose someone to marry. Hello. Nice to hear from you. Okay. Can't say see ya. Without ever. This is a show for the reality TV people out there. If you've seen it, let me know what you think in the comments below. If not, make sure you give it a watch. That's it for this week's TV Toya. Make sure you join us next week, where we'll have more entertainment news and more fun things to talk about. And remember, when it comes to the tea, we hashtag sip, don't spill.